Hello everyone and welcome to my eruption of shame. Today we have September 2022's, well, Humble Choice and Amazon Prime bundles. So let's have a look what we've got here. First of all, we have Crusader Kings 2. Now, I have played a little bit of one of the older um, Paradox titles, is similar to this, and I just was completely lost. Now it should be said, I paid a Played a thousand hours of Solaris, so you'd think I'd be able to handle a game like this. So, I'm willing to give it another go. It is a empire management in the Crusades era. It's got very high emphasis on, uh, on, um, it's got a very high emphasis on politics and stuff like that, more than everything else, but hey, in some ways it's probably more interesting than some of the past ones. I think I, I really want to get into this. I really want to be excited with this. So maybe a newer Paradox title I might have a better time of getting into. So yeah, 70 bucks worth. Seems a good time. Let's go. Now, when I first saw Just Cause on the list, I was like, wait, Just Cause? Like, I've got every Just Cause, don't I? No. No. Um, they have not given out Just Cause 4 yet, but they have given out 3 and 2 quite regularly. So this time they're giving us out the complete edition. Of Just Cause 4, which is apparently a $103 game, which is pretty good. Let's watch the trailer and see what it's like. Yeah, that's about as chaotic as I expect. Okay, so Just Cause is one of those crazy, like, almost Saints Row 4-esque games. Um, they just got- uh, Saints Row-esque games that got crazier and crazier and crazier. And unlike the recent re-release of Saints Row, which attempted to ground the series again and sort of failed dismally, um, Just Cause 4 just keeps on going and going and going. And I've always wanted to like Just Cause, but I've just never gotten into it. I think there's a couple of- Titles on my mountain still, so maybe it'll happen, but yeah. He um, for a complete edition, um, that's good. A hundred dollars worth of value. I'd never bought that otherwise, so I'm okay with that. Yeah. Now, this one I do already own, and I've got to say, it looks pretty interesting. It does. So, it's a indie action RPG strategy game. Uh, similar to things like, um... In Dungeons and Dragons. I haven't actually watched a trailer for this one, so I might actually give that one a go, I reckon, see what this one's like. Take your seats. The battles are about to begin. Feast your eyes, dear. Oh, this this is from an update. This is from an update. I don't think that's from the base game. I don't think. Yeah, I think that's from an update. Uh, did they have the base game trailer at all? Like the regular? My voice shall lead you to glory. My power grows. You could be my witness. Not bad, thanks. What a beautiful chord. Exactly what I need. Kia la 
Hooray, my friend! I shall lead. It's as it should be. Come on, dorks, try to keep up. Honestly, this game seems like just the perfect sort of casual, um, this is the perfect sort of casual Dungeons and Dragons game that just would be a fun little time. Seems like you got your characters floating around here. I still haven't played this game, so it's still on my mountain. It will come up at some point, as you would expect. Um, but yeah, I think if you don't already own this game, it sounds like it's a good one for the bundle. Um, for if another fifty dollar game as well, very positive. I think it probably almost makes up for the fact this one's 63 and this one's less than 92. Everyone loves Crusader Kings too. Um, sorry, but here's the thing. Like, there's been three games that are actually fairly valuable so far. So that that's a good start. Now from here, I haven't actually seen what's going on myself. So forgive me, Father, an action indie game. Um, all right, that looks cool. It's all giving me Hexen vibes. Um, which is nice. Yeah, it's giving me real Hexen vibes. So, yeah, there we go. A classic FPS from the 90s. Custom combat experience, dynamic levels. Let's watch a trailer for this one too and see if it's any good. Which I'm guessing the answer will be yes. It does say horror. But it also seems very bright. So... Okay, that looks pretty damn amazing. Yeah. I like it. I'm in. Loving it. That sounds that looks that looks great. That's a fantastic pickup. And another thirty dollar title. Eh, a little bit uh There we go. Clown trick. Now this one's another one I've just never heard of before, but apparently it's a roguelike, um, so that's cool. Adventure RPG strategy. Um, it's definitely got the hallmarks of that sort of that sort of title. Honestly, this one looks like it could be a lot of fun. Let's watch the trailer together. <laughs> Rated T for Teen. Give me a bit of super giant vibes, actually. Or like, don't starve. Oh, wow, that looks really good. I liked it. That looked really good. I, yeah, that, that looks right up my alley. That looks exactly like the game that I would love to play. So, yeah, totally new approach to strategy roguelikes. Synchronous, synchronous turn-based combat, where each move is full of possibilities, each battle is tried. It says, it says, um, totally new approach, but it looks very similar to... Dungeon Mans, and I love Dungeon Mans. That's for a lot more ac active effects, but it looks very similar to Dungeon Mans. Um, so that's cool. Explore the atmosphere, uh, dungeons, settings, and try your best to survive. Build your own unique combat style from 40 active skills, 60 passive skills. Damn! Very nice. Um, that game looks amazing. I am very much looking forward to playing that one, yes. Now, 
Oh dear, BMXs or just bikes? Uh, action Hank. Oh dear, the only the only biking game I played so far on the channel never recorded, and I'm glad it didn't because it was god awful. The video was fine, and I feel bad it got lost, but. Um, I said lost, it never got recorded in the first place. Um, but I honestly think this, this, I don't know, I, it's not my thing. Hmm. However, earn special mutates each time you play, work out the abilities, work best for your riding style, procedurally generated worlds, and it's clearly not like just a physics-based game. There is actually some actual riding, oh look, let's give it a chance and look, watch this, this trailer, shall we? I don't know, is this, uh, something I should mute? Oh well, I didn't have monitors this year anyway. No, no, it definitely does look like it's sort of like an Elastomania sort of game sometimes. What if that's just for sh to show? Because the screenshots seem to suggest it's a first person to deal. Or third person over shoulder. Yeah. I'm not convinced, but that being said, you might be. So, uh... Yeah, if you like, look at this. Hey, it's got 93% positive, so I guess it means that um, the people who are meant to like it do like it. So it's still a $35 game that I never would have bought otherwise. So, yeah, okay. I won't complain. The rest of the games would be awesome. Like this one also looks interesting. Mostly positive. Action indie adventure. Bur um, uh, on the evening of the fall of the Berlin Wall, a young woman plunges headlong to a parallel dimension to find her missing work colleague. Ooh. Fascinating. Very fascinating. Is this like going for a Bioshock esque sort of a deal or? The wall's finally over. Open. You know what? Let's watch the trailer, but I think this one looks like it could actually be quite fun as well. It's a shooter, but it's giving me real walking sim vibes. This doesn't look good at all. And Bioshock vibes, as I said. And Attack on Titan vibes? Well, that's... That is way too short of a trailer. Can I just... They just say that is way, way too short of a trailer. Like, that does not do anything for telling me what this game is about, but it looks really engaging. Like, it definitely did its job. I want to play it. Like, it looks ter terrifying in a, like, nightmare dystopian sort of way, which is my sort of way. That looks great. I am right on board with that one. Industria. Never even heard of it. Fair enough. No, it's, it's a little bit cheap. It's a cheese. It, this is the cheapest game in the bundle, but it looks like a Bioshock. God, I love Unreal Engine. I'm guessing that's what it's programmed in. The Unreal Engine can do some really amazing things. It's... Unreal. Then we've got Shapes, which is by doubt the cheapest thing in the bundle. Another game I surprisingly haven't heard of, and it comes with its Puzzle DLC. So, not entirely sure. Does that mean the base game isn't a puzzle? Automation game. Uh, let's see, it's this automation game. Just building and going up. Okay, hey, fair enough. Let's let's have a look at this trailer too, I suppose. Why not? We'll be looking at a lot of trailers today. Twenty third top game of twenty twenty. I know that's impressive, ish. Okay, so it's like a Factorio game, but in a literal factory. To create products. Oh, well, what are you creating? That's fascinating. Ah, 
I would suck at that game. It's definitely Vectorio-like. But even more arbitrary than the base game. Huh. Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. It comes with a DLC as well for puzzling. Okay. You know what? Fair. Honestly, this bundle is fairly good, but it's also not complete. Because apparently, there's another game in the bundle that you can play on launch day at September 27 called Moon Scars. Now, there's not much information on this. Uh, just, it's just, well, there is a little bit. This is a whole page on it. But yeah, as available at launch day in the Humble app for Windows PC. Exclusive perk for Humble Choice members. So, essentially, they're, they're trying to do, like, new game launches now, but only on Humble in DRM free format. So, they're putting stuff in the Trove, but they're doing new games in the Trove, I suppose? I mean, if we get every game published by Humble for free, that would be fairly good, to be honest. Um, but still. So, it's a pretty game, I'll give it that. I'm loving the reflections. But, oh boy, as well as shadows and secrets concealed in moonlight, a paintedly non-linear 2D realm marred with desperation and despair. I have a strange, dark fantasy tale filled with twists and in intricate world building. Seek the truth for your creation and be rewarded. I mean, it it's free. That's, that's, oh, look, there's a trailer here, but I don't have a, I don't have a frame set up for this trailer. I guess we'll just watch it, won't we? got frames set up for the others. The aesthetic is so dark. The grim darkness. It's being like Blood Rain vibes. Fascinating. I mean, if if that's what Humble's trying to go down the path of being um, a competitor to, you know, everything else that they do, that's uh, if it's ever ever all the other systems is even a year and free game. Okay, interesting. Very very interesting. Well, hmm. I think this has been a pretty good bundle. I mean, granted, it's not outwardly something I would have ever gotten out of my, like, gone out of my way to get, but forgive me, Father, Clown Trick, Industria, they all look really good. Just Cause 4, I'll give it a go. Crusader Kings 3, I'm gonna suck at, but still, it's Paradox, why not support Paradox? So I'd say this is a pretty good bundle, but here's the thing. We still haven't looked at the Prime games yet. So we don't know if the Prime games are going to be better, so let's have a look at those next. Okay, so moving over to Amazon Prime, we once again have eight games. Now these ones are free if you have the Amazon Prime bundle. And it's interesting here. It, as usual, has a couple of games on real platforms. It's got or Assassin's Creed Origins on... Huh. Origin... Uh, Uplay. Not Origin. But cool if it wasn't... Okay, yeah. On Uplay or Ubisoft Connect. It's then got Football Manager on Epic Games, which I'm 30% sure. Didn't we get a Football Manager game on Epic Games before, or am I just remembering things? Shadow of Mordor on GOG. I, I've had plenty of good games on GOG, so this is good. Castle on the Coast. Something called World of the Law, and this one's on that weird website that I still haven't signed up for. So, the one there. Defend the Rook, The Dig, and We the Revolution. So, honestly, on the surface, looks like a pretty good bundle. Uh, so yeah, basically, um, Assassin's Creed Origins. This is one of the Assassin's Creed games I've actually wanted to play, strangely enough. Um, 
it's got a, it's an actual RPG game. It's got actual loot and actual stuff you can go and do. Um, like you did lots of games, but like the original Assassin's Creed game always to me felt more like a more traditional game in that you like you unlocked a new item, then you went and did more things with it, like a new ability or whatever. This time it actually went more into like a proper ARPG logo, a land. And a lot of people didn't like that about Assassin's Creed Origins, but I was sitting there being like, I know that sounds pretty great. So I'm actually looking forward to that. So the next game I'm a little bit less excited about, and that is Football Manager 2022. Um, honestly, the closest thing to real football management. Ugh, yeah, I guess. If you want to play spreadsheets, sure. That being said, it does definitely looks a lot better than the last time I played a football manager game, which was all just nothing but 2D and no graphics. At least this one actually seems to have an in-game football mode, which helps, I suppose. Still, it's not what I'm really excited about too much. I guess it's good on terms of money, but that's about it. Middle Earth, um, Shadow of Mordor. I think this one in particular is one that um, I probably should have played years ago or bought years ago. I just, I like Lord of the Rings, but I don't love Lord of the Rings, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, it's a Lord of the Rings uh, based game. Um, and uh, yeah, it, honestly, I, it's cheap now, but it looks pretty good to pick up in this as well. Now, this one just looks weird when I looked at it earlier when I was loading up the so I was like, wait, what? The, is that a giraffe? Yes, it's a giraffe. It looks like an old school uh, retro 3D platformer sort of a, a thing, um, which, yeah, it it is what it is. It's probably a good kids game, I reckon. Um, but yeah, I personally would prefer the Hat in Time or even Ukulele as it's got down there. I need to play more of that, to be honest. But anyway, uh, yeah. And then this one, the uh, Word of Lore Death Mask. And this isn't the website it's meant to be on. Um, just didn't want to risk showing anything. But yeah, basically, Word of Lore Death Mask Collector's Edition. I, it's another hidden object game. And for some reason, they're giving out a bunch of these. Like, I always feel like I probably will need to sign up for the platform. But then I'm going to miss stuff anyway. And it's always just like a hidden object game. Which isn't that, that crazy. I, I'm not really a big hidden object game fan but anyway then we got defend the rook which is a roguelike tactics board game exactly what i would like in general pretty damn good the dig now this one is interesting too it is an old school lucas arts adventure game uh the dig was one of the only lucas arts adventure games i never actually fully completed i there's an error in the copy i had as a kid and i could never get past it now i think i since got it on gog um, but I've never actually really dove too deeply into it. So I have to look to see if it's going to go into my mountain or if it's something I've already done. Technically, it's been so long, I could probably see myself trying it again anyway. So there's that. And finally, We the Revolution. We the Re Revolution is a citizens-based game where you are, well, the revolution. And, and you're doing stuff. You're making up choices. I own it, but still on my mountain currently. Honestly, it sounds fun. Um, it, it it sounds like a lot of fun. It's it's um, I I just I think that's a great pickup as well. So honestly, the Amazon Prime set this this set is fantastic. The humble set, this set this this time around is pretty fantastic as well. Honestly, all around this is a good set of bundles. So if you want them, I'll put the links in the description down below so you can check them out. Uh, otherwise, I hope you've seen something you're interested in. Uh, so I'll see you next week, on uh, next month, on my eruption of shame. Uh, and of course, if there's any uh, global catastrophes that cause another ma major bundle to happen, I'll cover those as well. Um, don't forget your free games are all over the place at the moment. There's obviously still weekly epic games. Nothing too crazy on there right now, though. Um, and there's been a few free games on Good Old Games for their uh, summer sale. So I'm not sure if they're still on either. Um, but yeah. Oh, good. Uh, enjoy, and I hope that you have a great... Um, I hope you enjoy this bundle. Um, personally, I think I will, and that's that's fantastic. Three months in a row where I haven't thought this is terrible. Beautiful. See you next time. Goodbye.